And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Darius Thresh. It's been about a month, I think, or so since we played this deck. But this is a deck that we played earlier on in the format that we really enjoyed and, and had a lot of success with. And so I wanted to bring it back because, you know, it has been a little bit. Let's see how it is in the current metagame. Basically, we're going to be an aggressive deck with our Shadow Isle stuff. We got our Blighted Caretaker Curse Keeper combo, which is, of course, just amazing. And, um, you know, so we're going to be putting some early pressure on. We got our card advantage with our Stalking Shadows and Unspeakable Horror. Those cards are great. But then we're going to be doing Nexus Damage. We're going to be carrying caring about nexus damage we're gonna have imperial demolitionist and doom beast both of the both of those and those are just great cards to hit with stalking shadows right to be able to double up with with them and then noxion fervor as well so we're gonna try to get our opponent low for darius because you know we we want them to have 10 or less health and then we have our 10 6 darius and we're going to be combining darius with atrocity so that's a nice way to be able to finish people off Thresh is just going to be a, a good kind of control champion to keep control of the board while we're doing Nexus damage. And of course, if we have we have a bunch of the small little stuff like Blighted Caretaker and everything, and if we have six units die, we can have Thresh uh, pull Darius into play, um, you know, which that's obviously a, a really nice attack. All right, so that's our, that's our deck, Darius Thresh. Let's go ahead and play five games over in Ranked. Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal is very good. <laughs> As you saw, we went 5-0 with Draven Ezreal earlier today. Let's... Let's see, like, these are all pretty decent. We'll mulligan the, the six mana card, though. Alright, go get him Precious Pet. No Thermogenic Beam, please. Ah, oh, they just drew it, too. Gross. So kept the Noxion Fervor thinking that this could be a good card to be able to kill their champions. Like, maybe they use a removal spell on one of my things, and then we respond to the removal spell with a Noxion Fervor. not ideal. Doing nothing for two turns. Worked out very well for them. Few for the many. So far. They grow up so fast. Oh wow, nice jury rig. Excuse you. I yep. Okay, I was I was kind of expecting the jury I was honestly I was expecting the jury rig to block the escaped abomination and then them to block the two three with that. Um I'll take that, that's extra damage. So I'm happy with the extra damage. Or you miss me. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Nailed it. So they're at eight right now. I wish I would have kept that Darius. So do I put him down to eight? Or I could kill the Ezreal, which would... Killing Ezreal would definitely slow them down. Give me more time to find more damage. I should probably kill Ezreal. Doom Beast. Ugh. Clear it out. Uh, excuse 
Double Doom Beast, of course, is annoying. Time for the main event. <laughs> That's so awkward. We burn, then kindle anew. Yeah, our hand's not getting any less awkward. Watch and learn. We'll be surprised if we win this, but you never know. Time for the money makers. Never mind. Yeah. All right. Well, our our deck's not that bad. <laughs> like, I don't think we'll have that bad of a hand ever again. Maybe I. Th I guess I'm just gonna. Keep, I'm gonna keep the champions this time. Definitely felt bad for mulliganing that Darius last time. Yep. That's the thing. Is like sometimes you. You know, that, that hand we got pretty punished for keeping, or for mulliganing Darius, but, you know, sometimes you keep it, and then you just draw, like, some more Darius, and, and you just don't have, you don't have anything early, but obviously, we just drew Atrocities and Rekindlers, and we didn't have anything to do early anyway, because we had, <laughs> um, you know, turn three and turn four, had nothing to play. Good glimpse beyond. Warren's Prey would have been nice having, you know, like, one drop into Caretaker for this turn. That's, of course, assuming that they would play a couple of things. If if we would have found Warden's Prey, I would have passed priority, hope they played something, and then I would have played Warden's Prey, hope they played something else, and then Caretaker. Of course, right, I'm not planning on attacking, probably. We'll be playing Thresh next turn. Definitely not planning on attacking... Mitty Doug, thank you for that resub for the second month. That's awesome. Thanks for that support, Mitty Doug. I really appreciate that. If I kill you, I know fortune, stupid. What do you like to have me shall inflict? Go, Thresh, go. Go, Thresh, go. Go, Thresh, go. Fight or you swim! Double pair for the next kill! Who's fallen for blood? Routes closed. Hmm. Fortunate fellow. I'll just block like this. I'll only take one damage. No, two Doom Beasts? Oh, I like Doom Beast. I like Doom Beast. So, of course, I'm playing the Ephemeral. Thinking that uh, we'll have Blighted Caretaker kill the Ephemeral. Make the, Empire proud. the worst card for me to see is Twisted Fate. And Twisted Fate red card. But they do have that. That does level up Thresh on the spot. And so then Thresh would attack and put in Darius.
I'd rather, I, yeah. I would rather Blight a Caretaker kill one of these than get killed by a Gohard. So maybe I just attack. Even though that's, you know, kind of worse for my Thrash, but it's better than getting killed by a Gohard. There's nothing to fear. Fifteen. You pay. I talk to spirits. These are my rules. For silver, I talk. One man ashore from next turn playing Darius and Fervor and Fervor. They attack out. I take eight. Yes, they play Ruination. Out from the darkness. You know, if I, if I use, like, any of these things, they still get the two cards in their deck. I'm really glad it's not Twisted Fate red card. Under 10. So right now we're a little bit ahead. You know, we have a Curse Keeper and a 4-3 in play. They only have a 2-1 in play. We have two extra cards in hand. But they, st they still have way... Okay, never mind. So now we have only one more card in hand. I was going to say they have so much card draw and everything. Doesn't necessarily mean we're that far ahead. Okay, so they have Twisted Fate. With how they changed that block. Should be Twisted Fate. Ooh, I love that atrocity draw. Hmm. They have two Gohards, huh? So basically, does that mean that I am playing... I think that still counts. I, like, they, they shuffle those other ones back, so I, I assume that that still counts. My plan, of course, is to next turn have Darius Atrocity. Deal me in. Okay, well, that's... Um, I guess that's game. Yeah, I can't stay alive. The only way I can stay alive is if, for some reason, they didn't just draw Go Hard with Spray Thin. Else? 
Okay, they didn't draw a go hard. Because, yeah, like, a, a go hard does 5 damage to me, and, like, a fervor doesn't save me, so. Go hard would have killed me. And I think I'm good, because, you know, if they try to if they try to vengeance. All atrocity. <sighs> We've seen them play Vile Feast. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I was debating of just playing, you know, like just attacking for 10, playing Doom Beast this turn, having Fervor, and next turn having Atrocity. And, you know, attack for 10 should do 8 damage anyway. But, we'll just go for it and then have Fervor as backup. Happen, and then go to attacks. And, like, let them go to 10, or let them go to 12. I guess, I guess, never mind, yes I could have. Yeah, I could have, never mind. Alright, but anyway, what do we got? I like Double Warden's Prey. Okay, I like this hand. Just keep it. This is a play a long game hand. You know, it's not really that aggressive. But we have some early cards to just cast, but they don't do very much damage. I think it's a fair assumption that they're going to play Remembrance on turn 3. So you don't want to play things first before attacking. And yeah, I like how these things, uh, these cards in my hand work against Remembrance. So I I didn't play Stalking Shadows because of... Man, they just passed to me. Because of Nightfall. But I did waste the mana. Okay, thanks that one guy. I will save this deck. I'll check it out, thank you. If I if I play the ephemeral, I don't think they attack. I do like getting this thing out of play before, you know, like, they can't play another Remembrance, they can't play a Radiant Guardian. So, Heimerdinger doesn't, you know, I don't think they'd play Heimerdinger with me playing Thrash. It's kind of a good thing about playing Thrash here. Keeps them from throwing down Heimerdinger. At least for a turn. Whoa. Single combat was the worst card in their hand. Ah, the sweet smell of science. See, just for a turn, but it kept him from playing it for a turn. What we get? You for the many. Curse Keeper. That would have been better to Imperial Demolitionist. And fire! Reading her is pretty good. So like that four mana spell 
killed my champion and gave them a 3-2 and a 4-1. <laughs> like, that's some pretty good value. Alright, Darius. Hopefully you get a hit in. Hopefully no Concerted Strike. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't really get better for me. Move forward. I just want to, obviously this won't be lethal, but just do enough damage that, you know, then maybe we can have, like, Doom Beast, Noxion Fervor, Stalking Shadows. That kind of stuff. Finish the job. Just by my hand. I will hold the line. Cool. And fire! And no Radiant Guardians, so that's good. good about this one with us being able to even like take a hit and not be sad time to get my hands dirty i hypothesize their demise routes closed going down 12 Opponent needs like Radiant Guardian plus single combat. That doesn't what look like Radiant Guardian it? plus single combat to me. I think we're about to be two and one. Alright, GG's. Two and one. Easy peasy. Okay, same kind of thing. Gotta worry about Radiant Guardian. That's something definitely need to be worried about here. Um, I like this start. Culling Strike is fine. I guess I'll keep it. What does he want from me? Like, Demolitionist on the Warden Spray is not bad. Is the one true light. Bless the people and fear the heretics. We'll just go and do that. We have the 2 3 now that can block the 2 2. We'll take the damage from the 3 3. The Undying. Devotion to battle. Good hand for them, though, having two of their 3 1 drops. In her radiant blessing. Cool, we'll take it. You just keep on doing a little bit of damage, the undying. Keep on keeping on. Worst case scenario is finding the six mana lifesteal thing. It's the worst case scenario. Not the six mana lifesteal thing, so I guess it's not worst case scenario. It's still pretty powerful, like you know, the one Solari Priestess gives them a one two and killed two traded with two of my cards. Solari control all that her one touches. They're gonna do this while they only have one mana left. Get this draw you going. Mm. 
they didn't tap out. I was planning on playing, you know, the Curse Keeper Demolitionist. I was planning on going with that combo. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. First light illuminates the land. The sun's splendor reveals. Okay, I guess the Undying is done. Alright, so they're at 10. If I, if I play Darius, they play whatever sun, sunlight card they just grabbed and stun Darius. Back, heretic. Let's try this. I want to try to play Darius on like the end of their next turn and be able to go to open attacks with the Darius. Oh, did I just... Maybe I just turned on Radiant Guardian, though. I kind of... I, Mentioned Radiant Guardian before, but I already forgot about Radiant Guardian. Hmm. I don't like these guiding touches. Spray works. Bask in the light's radiance. Yeah, double eclipse dragon, pretty sweet. I don't want to waste all this mana. I don't want to try to kill Leona. Imagine they're attacking, right? Maybe not. Feel the sun's glory. Face it to the sun. Just leave me alone. Routes closed. I kind of wanted to test for single combat. Duty. Sun we just get another Undying? We did get another of the Undying. Definitely wish that they were still at 10. So the good news is that was all three guiding touches, but man, was that, that guiding touch is just kind of perfect against my strategy. That's the good news they've... At least that's the good news they've used all three. But don't imagine this ends up too well for me. Because we, we know, like, they have, like, another Celestial, a Dragon in hand. Like, they're, they're going to have all this stuff. Like, I don't, I don't imagine... Like, even if, like, I, I attack right now, we put a 6-5 into play. I don't imagine this goes too well for me. Clad in shining sunlight. Guilty were bad. 
You cannot sway me. Gaze into the light. If they didn't have Guiding Touch, like if that wasn't a card, these Darius were 10 power, game would be a lot different. Right. Yeah, their they're two mana unit just kills my six power champion, or six mana champion. Okay, we'll finish this out against Demacia. That's an example why every Targon card is OP. Did they like up the power level of like each like new region? It does seem like that, right? Like Bilgewater seemed better than the original ones, and then Targon. They just th they just threw draw a card onto like everything on Targon, and kind of the same with Bilgewater. Like those are the two regions they just. It's like they decided to just throw draw a card on everything. Leading with Precious Pet. I wonder if you like looked at Targon between all of the things that draw and between all the things that invoke. I wonder how many... I wonder if it's like half of the cards in Targon replace themselves, you know, like... A, I wonder what that number is looking like. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't say the Targon's overpowered either, but I do wish that they had less card draw. That's the thing, is I, I do think that Bilgewater and Targon have too much card draw just in general when you compare them to the other regions. But not necessarily that any, like, one individual card is too powerful. Approaching the battlefront. Wow, those things are tough. Things are tough. What does he want from me? I play the Warden's Prey like as a blocker. I was kind of thinking they would be a, they would be attacking. I want to go home. Now I was thinking maybe I should have played the Precious Pet to attack. Sure. That's why I figured with that attack also, like how they didn't attack before, but then they decided to, is they probably had a pump spell. So I didn't block with 4 3. Yeah. Yeah, it's not always card draw, but yeah, it is just each. Cor correct. Each card creates a new card. And that is... That's the Targon way. Go create a new card. Today we turn the tide of war. Oh, what's that noise? If they don't break, they'll burn. You for the many. Yeah, that does does make <clears throat> does make Targon a great support region. That's true. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Remember the objectives. By doing this, I don't have atrocity available, but that's okay. Make the Empire proud. Alright, GG. All right, so really good day today. We started with seven LP on the day, <laughs> just seven after uh, losing a lot yesterday and uh, 
you know, good good records today. Five zero four one, and then a two three three two to even that out, and went from seven all the way to one eighteen. So there we go, back up to um, a better number. Heading into to to rank up Sunday tomorrow. Uh, looks like we are <clears throat> two seventy four. That's better. <laughs> at the beginning of the day, at at seven, we were at like number eight hundred. <laughs> So we'll, we'll make sure that we're going to be in the top um, top 700 for the tournament, for sure. Yeah, so this this deck's, you know, it's pretty decent. Like, you know, it just has that aggressive start, has lots and lots of Nexus damage. Try to avoid the Solari plus Nexus healing deck. That That's a pretty rough matchup. Try to avoid that one. But besides that, we had a lot of uh, cool stuff with this deck, and it, it just surprises people, too. They're not necessarily expecting you to have all sorts of doom beasts imperial demolitionists and uh noxian fervors and stuff like that later on so a lot of times people will take some hits early in the game thinking that their their life total is more safe than what it actually is whenever um you know whenever you have like all that extra burn in there all right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and please leave those comments. Keep on leaving those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck or any of the other decks. Uh, those comments really help. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really uh, can't say that enough. Thank you very much for watching. Some Darius Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.